In this tutorial, we will show how to use the aging tool. Over time, solar panels lose their ability to absorb sunlight to convert it into solar energy. This is referred to as degradation or aging of the solar panels. The aging tool in PVCs allows to perform a multi-year simulation by taking into account the degradation of PV modules and increasing mismatch along the years. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to use this tool. The aging tool is limited only to grid-connected projects for the moment. Click on the button Grid Connected. In this tutorial, we will use the Demo Residential Project in Geneva. Click on Load and choose the Demo Residential System at Geneva project. Then, in the Variant tab, choose the variant VC2 Detailed Losses. To access the aging tool, click on Advanced Simulation. In the Advanced Simulation window, you can find information on the variant of the project on the top. This allows you to verify the simulation parameters in the chosen variant in advance. The Aging Tool option can be found in Advanced Tool section. Click on the button Aging Tool. The Aging Tool window is divided into five main sections. The top left section allows to define the aging parameters. The blue question mark button on the right opens the help page that gives a detailed explanation of this tool. The information panel on the top right guides the user through this dialog by giving indications on the next step to be done. The weather file that will be used in the simulation will be listed in the Meteo and Simulation Parameters Choice section in the form of a tree view. Note that in PVSYST, the weather files are generally called Meteo files. On the right you will find the button to run the simulation and an area that displays the results. We will now go through these sections step by step. Before we begin, it is important to note that the tool is only available when your project already has been simulated successfully. Any changes of parameters in the simulation will disable the aging tool. To start, you will have to define the basic aging parameters. These parameters include the module degradation rate and the mismatch evolution. Please watch the dedicated tutorial Aging Detail Losses for more information. If the detailed losses are already defined, the light on the button turns green, and the aging tool will take these parameters as initial values. You can always access the detailed losses to verify or change the parameters. Next, you will have to choose the Meteo file for the simulation. The Meteo file can be a single file or a series of multi-year data. At this stage, only files with full year data will be available. In this example, we have a single generic year file and a series of yearly Meteo data from 2005 to 2020. Select the Meteo file that you want to use for the simulation. It is possible to choose up to two groups of different Meteo data at a time. We start by choosing the single year data Geneva MN81SYN. When a single year data is chosen, you can specify the total number of years to be simulated, as well as the interval between each simulated year. PVCs will then interpolate the result for each year in between these intervals. Here, we choose to run the simulation for every 6 years throughout a total of 30 years. The number of years of operation in the tree view changes with the modification and each line under the Meteo file represents one simulation. You also have the possibility to generate a report for all or some of the simulations. To generate a report for all simulations, Simply toggle the checkbox on the top. To generate individual reports, select the simulation separately. A report for this simulation will be created and stored in the PVSYST user workspace. When you select the Generate Variant option, a separate variant will be created and added to the project. This variant will have the aging model activated in the detailed losses with the corresponding value for simulation for year number. It will also contain the simulation result computed with the corresponding MET file. You are now in position to run the simulation. Click on the button Run Simulation. A progress bar will appear and show the evolution of the simulation. When the simulation is finished, the results are displayed directly in the Results, Table and Plots section. The Show Parameter button on the top right of this section allows you to access the simulation parameters easily. You can get back to the results by clicking on the Show Results button. The results are displayed in the form of a table and two plots. 
In the table, variables such as useful out system energy, which in our example will be the energy injected in the grid, performance ratio and the performance ratio loss from year 1 to the number of years simulated is shown. You can choose to include additional results in the table by choosing the variable from the list on the right. It is also possible to change the unit of the variables. As for the plots, the one on top represents the useful energy out of the system over the year of operation and the second plot illustrates the performance ratio throughout the years. Note that the bars with the darker color represent the year simulated and the bars with the lighter color are the interpolated values. You can choose to display different variables, once again by selecting from the result variables list on the right. This will change the display of the plot on top. We will now demonstrate the simulation with multi-year meteo files. Start by clicking on Show Parameters. Select the multi-year series. In this example, we have meteo files from year 2005 to 2020. You can deselect a specific year by clicking on the particular meteo file that you do not wish to include. Running the simulation with yearly meteo files has the advantage of calculating a more realistic yearly variation of the system's performance. Click on Run Simulation. As shown in the previous example, a progress bar will appear showing the evolution of the simulation. You can visualize the results when the simulation is done. On the right, you can decide to display the results from both series. A double bar chart will be shown in the results section. The results from the single year meteo file are represented in red while the results from the multi-year series in green. As mentioned before, you can decide which variables are to be displayed as well as their units. To export the results, you have two possibilities. The first option is to include them in the report. Click on the report button. The result of the aging tool can be found on the third and second last page of the report. A summary of the aging parameters used for the simulation is included on the top of these pages. Then one page is dedicated for the plots and the other for the table. You have the possibility to remove these pages if you do not wish to show them in the report. To do so, click on Report option and deselect the Aging Tool option. The second option to export the results is to copy and paste the table directly to an external software, like for example Excel. This can be done by clicking on the Copy the Table button. In this tutorial, we demonstrate how to use the aging tool in PVSYST. This tool runs a multi-year simulation by taking into account the degradation of PV modules. The results describe the evolution of the PV system performance over multiple years and give an insight of its long-term potential.